Hello and thank you for joining me at Ladies in Tech. Before you go, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any lectures on our RS Logix 500. Thank you for joining me on Ladies in Tech. This video is going to be on completing an online edit with RS Logix 500. So here I am online. You can see that by each side of this being green. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change this instruction and uh, do a change on this rung of logic. So when we do our edits, it's for each of the rungs, okay? So keep that in mind that if I want to do edit here, I want to do an edit here, I have to do the same procedure for each rung that I'm going to do for this one. So if I want to complete an edit on here, if I want to change this to a T4 colon 1 and I'll make an examine of close and I'm going to use the done bit. We'll say that for now. So I'm going to click on the rung that I want to edit. I'm going to right click. I'm going to do start rung edits. And here you can see a second rung came up of the exact of the opposite one above. So this is the original. So where it says R, this is our original. And here where it says E is our edited one. So now I can complete an edit on this rung that I want done. So I'm going to go into this one. I'm going to change its instruction type. I'm going to put it to an examine of close. And I'm going to change this bit here to a done bit. Okay, so there's my change. But this change, if I go up top, you can see I'm pushing the green push button. But um, it is going by what this run of logic is here, not by the one that I edited. So the next thing I need to do is click over here again. We're going to right click and we're going to go accept wrong edits. All right, you can go see it's now turned to an I. And what we can do is test our edits. And it's going to say to me, do you want to do that? And we're going to go yes. So right now, if I go and push my green button, you can see that now that line of logic is true, right? And then it's done. So at this point in time, if I didn't want those edits, I would simply go untest edits, and I'd right click and go cancel edits and you're going are you sure and it brings it back to my original so now let's go back in and we're going to save what we're doing so we're going to start run edits again by right clicking we're going to change this guy here to our done and we're also going to change the instruction type to examine if closed and we're going to go over here and we're going to right click and we're going to accept our edits you have to go through every step here test our edits are you sure you want to test them? Yes, I am. And the next thing is that I'm going to assemble my edits. You, are you sure you want to assemble them? I'm going to go yes. So once I assemble them, it gets rid of that last, um, the, the one, the original line that was there is now replaced with this one here. Okay, so that's how you do a rung edit. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, or would you like me to show anything else on rung edits or anything else to do with RS Logix 500, please post them in the comments below. And thank you for joining me and make sure you subscribe because next we're going to talk about counters and I don't want want you to miss out when we start going through counters. All right, thanks and have a great day.